Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming to this wonderful roundabout. Uh, my name is Natalie Draper. For those of you who don't know me, I'm fairly new here. Um, I started in February as the library director and I'm also the staff liaison to the Arts and Culture Commission, which is why I'm here doing introductions. Um, and we are gathered here on Walk the School Day, safely sheltered from the road and surrounded by this colorful artwork depicting the varied ecological delights of our region. Uh, this project, which is funded by the 1% for the Arts, is the final piece of this amazing roundabout project, which eased congestion and created these tunnels for pedestrian and bicycle traffic. Public art can contribute both to community life and to the service and vitality of public spaces. A good public space is not only inviting, but builds a place for the community around an artwork by growing and attracting activities that make it a multi-use destination. Art in public spaces is art for everyone because everyone deserves to experience art and we should limit that exposure to the insides of museums and galleries. Art everywhere inspires us to create, to discuss, and to gather. I think it can be a really powerful tool to bring people together. Illustrated this. <laughs> this roundabout alone was a significant improvement to a busy intersection. Um, but it isn't just an infrastructure project. With the addition of Adam Terman's murals, it's a place to gather, to appreciate and enjoy, and it gives us something to be proud of and to cherish. The tunnels become a memorable destination for residents and visitors. I think it's already been a very memorable destination as we've seen from people posting to social media their experiences here. Um, Adam was selected for this project because his work embodies the spirit of the initial call for proposals. Truly a match made in Minnesota, Adam is known for his bold, colorful depictions of Midwestern icons and the scenic outdoor wonders of our region. Adam's murals can be found throughout the Midwest in his screen prints in private collections worldwide. He works with major brands, independent businesses, and private collectors alike to make art part of our everyday, which is now part of our everyday. Um, I've already seen the murals showing up, like I said, in, on, in posts on social mus uh, media, and I've seen local businesses using the public art as a backdrop for their photo shoots. Um, and I've heard another downtown business excitedly sharing news of the murals with their customers while they were browsing Adam Sherman's puzzles in the shop, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, this artwork is dedicated to the residents and visitors of Northfield. The roundabout is sort of a crossroads and sort of a gateway. Um, both let you know where you are and where you're headed. It would not have been possible without the vision and leadership provided by Teresa Jensen and the Arts and Culture Commission, and the vocal support of the mayor and city council, city staff, and volunteers. So thank you to all who were involved in this project, to Teresa, to the ACC, the volunteers on the Public Art Review Committee that approved the designs, and to city staff and public works who maintain the space. And with that, I'll turn it over to the mayor. All right, thank you so much, Natalie. That was such a beautiful <laughs> Great to be here with all of you. Thank you to all of you for gathering. I see lots of arts advocates and my council colleagues here that I know love this uh, artwork as much as I do. Some of you serving on our boards and commissions, longtime community members. Thank you so much for being here today. This roundabout with the separated trails and tunnels allows children to get to school safely. It allows pedestrians to cross the streets safely and allows recreational and commuter cyclists to travel through safely and all without staff stopping. People of all abilities, all ages, whether you want to do cartwheels if you're 10, 
or if you want to do the polka if you're 80, you can do that here through our tunnels. It allows our neighborhoods to be more connected. We've already seen more people walking to parks on the other side of the street and to other neighborhoods, connecting not only our schools, but our senior population, our younger generation, all people. But this is not only an important local connection, but also an important regional connection. You'll see on one of the tunnels, it says Mill Towns Trail. When it's complete, the Mill Towns Trail will run from Cannon Falls to Fairville. Northfield recognizes that enhancing this roundabout project, sorry, pause, and its tunnels with art will make this connection a landmark and a point of reference for travelers. People will pause here and they will want to see what's in the rest of our community because of this. Northfield has an active and thriving art scene. Art is important to Northfield and our city recognizes that, at, that public art enriches, enriches our public spaces. Because of this, the City Council adopted the 1% for the Arts Ordinance in March of this year. That seems like forever ago. Uh, this ensures 1% of construction costs of a capital improvement project is dedicated to public art. We do capital projects every year. That means 1% every year is going back into the arts. It was fun to watch the progress of the murals over the summer from the base coat, which is really important, right? We'll talk about that later, yeah. Yes. <laughs> to the outlines and sketches to the fully recognizable scenes we see today. Thank you, Adam, uh, for embracing Northfield's surrounding natural beauty in your scenes. The initial call for submissions asked for proposals that reflect the character of the city of Northfield, and you've done that beautifully. We're thrilled with Adam's design showing the abundance of wildlife found in oak savannas, as well as some of the best bird watching that can be found in this biome. Hopefully I said that right. As well as all the others. The Northfield Public Art Review Committee selected Adam and worked with him on the theme of the four ecologies near Northfield. Cannon River, Nurse Dram Big Woods, Oak Savannas, and Prairie. Thank you, Adam, for your work on this project. And thank you to the Arts and Culture Commission and the Public Art Review Committee. It's such a pleasure to be standing here with all of you and be able to see this project in the fullness of what it was intended to be, a beauty that will stand here for generations to come, that young children with their parents and their grandparents will be able to learn from and enjoy together. So, hey. turn it on. Yep, you're leaving me now. So I, I don't come with a prepared speech. I don't come with the eloquent, eloquent talking and, and, and speaking points. I just want to say thank you. Um, just, just such a pleasure to work on this project. Um, you know, and, and also being selected to work on it. Uh, I met so many great people who checked up on me every day. A few of which are here today. <laughs> I'm looking at you. So. Um, <laughs> But people would stop by and, and, and check up on me, and that's something new for me. Um, you know, I get to do a lot of murals, but there are a lot of murals that end up being inside, or they're for other brands or organizations. They're not necessarily for the community, and this community is pretty darn awesome, as I think a lot of people here know, and the people who are standing here right now, you guys definitely appreciate that, and, and, I, and I thank you for that, and it makes my job way more fun. So. Uh, that was awesome. Um, a couple thank yous. I'm gonna forget people, but you know, that's so. I'm gonna just try to remember everything off the top of my head. But um, when we first got this project, these are pretty massive spaces to paint, and so this is just one tunnel. There's four of them here, so I'm like, how in the world am I gonna paint the whole thing? So we knew that we didn't have like, you know, the time or or the expenses or anything to do the entire mural down the entire length of each tunnel, but. Um, I was in contact with Hirschfields, so they're a great local family-run company, and I get all my paint from them. And so we reached out to them and their, their you know, main rep over there, and he gave us a lot of information and actually hooked us up with wider painting. And then Corey, so I don't know if many of you actually met him on the first day thinking that maybe I might have been Corey. <laughs> and Corey was the one, that's what we're talking about, the foundation painting. So Corey ended up doing all of the, all of the foundation painting inside each tunnel so that each colorway in here that's a lot of work and I couldn't have done it without his help and wider painting so that's really cool and thanks to Hirschfields 
thanks to uh, the city of Northfield and you know the, the committee for selecting me and, and helping me. And of course, Teresa is vacationing somewhere and drinking pina coladas and all that <laughs> fun stuff and she can't be here, but um, that was really great to get to meet her and work with her and Ben Marti, who I've worked with before and I'm gonna forget a bunch of people's names, but thank you, thank you. Um, it's just been really fun. And also I work as a kind of a graphic designer. So this project I think really worked for me and my style where I already had a subject matter to basically draw upon. So I already knew, like, I've got a creative brief right in front of me, what am I going to do with that? And that's what made it really fun for me. I wasn't like shooting darts at a dartboard like I normally do with someone who just says, we just like what you do, just do what you do. For me, that's really hard. I want to make it for whoever, I want to make the art that I do for whoever I make it for. And it's for the city. And so since you guys already kind of put together like these biomes, together I knew already kind of where to aim and, and what to make and it sounds as though like the feedback that I've gotten people really enjoy it people really like it so hopefully that's true I believe it's true I really like it and uh, this has been one of the most uh, the best projects that I've worked on and one of the most rewarding that I've got to do so thank you again Project too, <laughs> two people too. So yeah, you, you guys are great, great community. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Questions? We can take <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, seriously, if you guys have any questions about anything, let, let us know, or we can all just kind of go our own little way. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Um, what's the longevity of the uh, uh, paintings? Uh, how, how long do you expect them to last? They should, in, in theory, the joke has been that the paint will last longer than the walls do. <laughs> wow. So, in cool. theory, it's it's going to last for quite a while. Also, the paint is really cool. It's like a resin-based pigment, so um, it's some of the best paint that I've found over trial and error. And uh, the, in the, also, the paint's not cheap, so it's, it's, it's really good stuff, so it should last quite a while. Even the yellow should not fade very quickly. It should last years and years and years. And the number one question I got asked the most was, how are you going to protect it from kids screwing with it or whatever? And so, um, you know, that's inevitable. That could and may happen. Um, but, uh, you know, we're leaving the city with colors of paint. So we can go back over it and That's a great question. I'm trying to remember. Um, you know, it's just, it's honestly like my, some of my favorite things were meeting people. I'll tell you, like, uh, this one woman came, her name's Eileen, and I was working on the Nurse Strand Big Woods Tunnel, and that has dwarf trout lilies in it. And apparently they are very specific to Nurse Strand. And I did not know all of the little details. I did a bunch of research, but I don't know it from the locals, right? So um, <laughs> she came one day and told me all about them and that was amazing and I got all this great information and then I went back to that back and I was like well let's see um, I actually need to draw them a little bit differently and I also need to paint them a little bit differently and then she even stopped by gave me um, printed out a, a whole pamphlet about what they were and like their origin story and all of this stuff and so that was pretty amazing and then at the end of the project she brought me a trout lily uh, mug and uh, like a little card and stuff in there and so that was just really sweet so she really cares about it and so that made me care about you know the pieces that I was doing even a little bit more so um, that's one of my favorite stories <laughs> and then um, offline we'll talk about some of my other favorite stories <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? We're good? This is also awesome. We've got actually people using the tunnel as we're trying to do all this. This is great. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Thank you very much.